Jojo has fun. Time guarantee. Fuck it. Yeah, it was the best $35 my mom ever spent when I was in seventh grade. I then spent $60,000 on college, but that Jansport backpack. That's where, you get, you get, where you got your savings. Yeah. Hey, guys, welcome back to JoJo Has Fun. We're playing a game. Yeah, I'm uh, penny wise, but pound foolish is what we're is, learning. You're, you're a band? No. Anyway, this is Bayonetta. Bayonetta. Oh, my. So give me a background on Bayonetta. It's a Sega game, which means it's old as this Stuff. this game actually yeah this game uh this game did come out like a long ass time ago mm. so so uh, when you say like how does it relate to how old the wire is do you think this was like coming out the same time as a wire yeah it's pre wire at one point in the wire um one of the kids sits down to play video games and he's playing a video game but it just says Halo two across the mid- the, the bottom of it but he's like pretending he's playing no like they're playing um for real but I guess they they must have had to like give credit to Halo to be able to play the game. <laughs> so like there's no way that when you play Halo 2 it just says Halo 2 in big letters no, across it does not. the front of it. No. Nope. But yeah, so like that that's where we are in video game land. So, so is this older or younger than that? Younger. So this well actually no, Halo 2 this came out after that. So okay, so the basic premise of this game is do you, have you ever heard of the game series Devil May Cry? Nope. Okay. Well, Devil May Cry is like the action um game of games like oh it's a dude who runs around he's tough he's like a demon he kills people and he does this thing where he knocks people in the air and hits them and everything about it's supposed to be cool i hate that series it's not because the gameplay isn't fun or anything i just hate the character of dante who's the main character oh yeah if you don't like the main character yeah fuck. the guy who made that series though he made this game and his is like all right if devil may cry was supposed to be cool this game is supposed to be sexy and they created the character of Bayonetta, who is a witch who fights angels. Long okay. Angels. From the All right. Of time. Yeah. There once existed I can I can support that. This. I'm not good at the controls. So I don't remember the It's jumping. Wait, are you fighting right now? Yeah. It just starts. Yep. There's no like tutorial. This is the tutorial, truthfully. The clans hate each other great respect. It's like a... And, uh, and this is like a legit tutorial as well because it's like... It's not like Fray where it's like, go sit on the chair. Yeah, that's Hide fucking... Hide behind the chair. And Bayonetta, it's like, fucking fight, dude. Yeah. Kill angels. Punch buttons. Wait, the angels just like fucking explode? Into blood. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I love this game so much. So and wait, then, are there two of you? Well, that's your friend Jean. Or, I think it's Jean's pronounced Jean. Um, she's another witch. The once harmonious clan oh, shit. fell into disagreement. What's that? It's bad guy. Oh, have you ever so noticed that uh, in in uh, European in lore, dragons are bad, but in like Japanese lore, dragons are good? Yeah. Isn't that weird? Well, I why do we both have dragons? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was, ju- <laughs> dude, I was just about to say that. Like, why are there dragons at all? Yeah. Like, why is that a thing? Do you think? Do you think it was like someone found dinosaur bones? I think it's probably sea creatures. Because they're like super big. But why? Well. Oh, like they found sea creature fossils? They're like just bones. Oh. Just like, well, like, so like recently, like, and we still do this. Like something will like wash up from the ocean, like an old whale. Right. And like it doesn't quite look like a whale. Like this has happened with the, um, did you ever hear about the... The main mystery beast. I think I've talked to you about this before. No. What the fuck is the main mystery beast? So, like, this is kind of getting off topic a little bit. But, so... <laughs> As we're playing a video in game 2000, we're angels yeah. half naked. In uh, 2006, uh, some, somebody, like a jogger in Maine, was running, and they found on the road, like, a decompo- decomposing body of an animal. And it became the main mystery beast, because they didn't know what it was. And it, like... And it had... They were like, it has hooves and it has, but it's not like a, it's kind of, it's smaller than what you would think. Like it didn't really look like a, like a pig, right? but it looked like it had hair, like, or fur, like an animal. And it had like really big fangs and they like took a bunch of pictures of it. What the fuck is this thing? Right? Well, they did uh, DNA testing on it and the DNA testing took four weeks. 
And so every single day in this town in Maine that my friend who I went to college with was from, it was like her mom, news. it was like news every day, the Maine mystery beast, what could it be? You know, and they like talked about like, oh, well, you know, catamounts haven't been uh, in the area for many years. And so maybe it's, it could be like some kind of unknown feline. But then like, they're like, oh, but it had hooves. It was a fucking dog. What? <laughs> yeah. A dog got hit by a car and was uh, like deteriorating and they found it. And so, like, the teeth had, like, pulled up from, you know, because it was, like, rotting. Right. And, like, it didn't have hooves. The person just had, like, a really active imagination. Huh. And so I imagine, and that happened in, like, 2006 in Maine. So I imagine if, like, a whale bone, like, washed up on shore, I could totally imagine any culture being like, oh, yeah, this is probably some sort of flying creature from olden times. <laughs> like, <laughs> because the Maine mystery beast happened, like, 11 years ago. And it was a it was a big deal for like over a month. Huh. But yeah, it turns out it was just a dog. Just it was a hundred percent dead dog. Wow. Yeah. That's surprising. But it was really exciting. No, like, it sounds the, like it would be. We would get the the stories like every every day. Like my friend's mom would be like sending her clippings of the main mystery beast. Oh man. Yeah. But like the idea was like it was like a really big dog, so they're like, oh, it can't be a dog because it's big. But like, have you ever seen some dogs? Some dogs are very big. I've seen some big dogs in my yeah. time. You know, Great Danes are big dogs. Wolfhounds, oh, very God. big dogs. Oh, um, Burmese Mountain Dogs. Have mm. you seen those? Those are not. those are the dogs that when they show a picture of a dog, that's what they show, because they have the cool colorations on their oh, head. Oh yeah, they're like, like the calico dog. cats of dogs. Mm. But calico cats are just like bastard cats. Did you know that all calico? Well, they can't be bastard cats because all calico cats are female. It's true. All calico cats are female, except in genetic mutation. Um, so you know that I have a trans cat, right? Have I told you about this? You have, yeah, you have a cat that you have no idea what its what its uh, sex is because right. they they neutered it and they did it wrong. Yeah, or they did they just did it, or they did a super good job. Oh. Um. So yeah, so we get this cat. He came in our, in our house. We lived in a house, and it came with a cat. Right. And his name is Orange Cat, and we call him him because we have a her already. Um. I thought that all cats were girls, but go on. <laughs> go yeah. So, but apparently, dark, uh, orange cats are. 99 or 98% male. Almost really? always male. Yeah. Um, Why? So, I don't know. So, huh. like, lighter orange cats can be female, but for the most part, a dark orange cat is male. Huh. Um, Interesting. So, we get this cat. It's a real piece of shit. But anyway, <laughs> we bring it to the vet, and the vets, we're like, the, the vet's like, is it a boy or a girl? And we're like, well, we don't, we don't know. That's why we're here. We call it a boy. No, we were there to get him vaccinated. Yeah. But we call it a boy because we already have a girl, and she's like, oh, well, most orange, uh, she's like, that makes sense. Most orange cats are boys. And then she's like checking him out. And this is the vet. Yeah. And the vet is like, and, and he's looking at me like, she is up in my business right now. <laughs> like tail up. And, and she's like, and she just says, well, most orange cats are male. However, your orange cat has very female appearing genitalia. Okay. And so it's a, it's a female appearing male. Um, so yeah, we still call him a man because we have a girl already and oh, they're yeah. cats it makes life and easier. gender is a construct. So it really doesn't matter. No, it does not. Um, and so they use the same, they use dual, we have uh, trans friendly litter boxes. They can like use either one, Aww, um, but they're not handicap accessible. <laughs> did you ever want to do that thing where you train a cat to use a toilet? Oh, my dad did that. Really? Does it work? Yeah. Holy shit. But they don't shit. flush. Oh, well, of course not. But you're cat's not smart enough to flush. Well, you what you do is you we put litter, care care you put like they, you, they but you have to like designate a toilet because like you have to like s put litter in the toilet and like so they use a litter box and then you put the litter box essentially in the toilet, right? And they'll just squat over the the toilet seat and just use the litter box, right? Right, right, right. It's actually like it's not that hard. No. And my brother, speaking of people uh, who are crazy with cats, yeah. my brother recently taught his cat to high five. No way. Yeah, he has a cat, black cat. Yeah. So what you do is you give them a treat. This is my brother has a lot of time on his hands. Apparently, he works, but he this his full time job is cat training. Um, and so you give a cat a treat and right. you make them like hold their paw out for it. And so you like put the and then you just like keep giving them treats over time and they hold their paw out and they hold their paw out and eventually they will put their paw out when you put your hand out and they'll like high five and then you start putting 
the the treats up higher, and they will up high high five you. No way. With time, I guess he did. Sa- he didn't make it sound cool. like it took that long. And and I know Black Cat. Black Cat's dumb. Wow. That is a she is a dumb cat. That is awesome. Yeah. I love that pets do cool things. Yeah. What the fuck? They're here for this douchebag. Yep. Yep. yep, yep. Ah! So angels in this game are bad because they're dicks. You hearing me? You you can see them, can't you? I see them. They are instruments of God descending <laughs> upon His heavenly hmm. rays to earth. This is a pretty I good graphics that. for an older game. Voice. Yeah. Well, I mean, 360 is fairly recent, actually. Well, I mean, it looks a lot like uh, Assassin's Creed. Well, Assassin's Creed came out in 360. Well. Originally, I mean, you're right. Like the newer ones, like yeah, their graphics are kind of ridiculous. I wish the games were better. Oh, um, I liked the new the um so the one the, in London. Yeah, that one was was surprisingly good, but the one before at Unity was hot garbage. Oh really? Oh yeah. Well, I'm glad because I kind of thought about going backwards. I liked no, that one so no, much. No, 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 don't play that one. It's just like, I mean, it's cool to walk around Paris, but there's not very much game to play. Yeah, see, I really liked... The the London game was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, the train thing. And yeah. And she fell in love with the, the yeah, that was Yeah, that was sweet. That was kind of weird, but... Yeah. Uh, uh, are you playing right now, or is nope, it just... I'm just watching. All right, cool. Um, well, who's that guy? That's that's Bayonetta. Well, I know that's Bayonetta. Who's the, the trench coat guy? Enzo. It's like her underworld contact. Oh. Is she supposed to look vaguely like a nun? Uh, just at this moment. During this cutscene where she's kicking the shit out of angels. God damn it. I want her inside me. You're yeah, so I weird. said it. I don't care. <laughs> what? It's his birthday. Oh, good for him. Oh, he's another year older. So when Bayonetta fights them, she fights them in the world of Limbo. And so they yeah. can't see her, but she can affect the world and shit. Who dis? Rodan. He's uh, like a demon like shopkeeper. He faked his death to summon angels. Next time you want your hands on you, you better make sure I'm dead. Yeah. Oh. Conked his noggin. Oh, punked him. Nice. Yeah. If it ain't my good buddy Enzo. <laughs> Everyone in this game is so over the top. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, they are. But they haven't done the thing that I want to see, which is where Bayonetta transforms. That's what we got to see. That's that's my jam. What's your jam? So she's going to... So that nun outfit is not what she wears. Awesome. Beautiful. Nice. All right, kicking, kicking. There we go. Okay, what the fuck is this game? This game is the fucking coolest game. We're fucking playing bang at it, guys. <laughs> this is my jam. But did they focus group this and people were like, yeah, this is what I want? Um, do you find this to be fucked up in some way? Because I'm more than willing to hear you talk about it uh. for the next like, 500 episodes. <laughs> 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 There's another thing in this game where, as you do combos, she loses her outfit. Like, it becomes less and less and less and less and less. Until she's wearing, like, a swimsuit, basically. Like, a very provocative swimsuit. It is absurd. Yeah! It is so over the top. And all she does is fight religious people who are complete dicks. 
Is this still the intro? I don't yeah, this is still the video. <laughs> Look, she set up a pole to fucking shoot people. It's just, it's just, it's, it's bananas, this game. So I just don't know, what are you doing in this game? Well, this is to introduce you to how cool the character is. It's really like you're you're gonna it's a, you go on an adventure. Like you but adventure. now she wears glasses. Oh yeah, she wears glasses. She always wears glasses. She has trouble seeing. And also, like, I don't know. Glasses are cool. Oh I, yeah. I wear them. Oh. I'm cool. Okay. Kim, I'm cool. Yep. Look how cool I am with my glasses. Very cool. They're Oakleys. Oakley, if you would like to sponsor the show because I wear your glasses, I'm more than willing to over <laughs> have a discussion. Click, click like and subscribe. Like, like comment, subscribe. Bike, comment, and send screen. I love this game. I Here we go. Okay. Now we're playing. Next time when JoJo has fun. You'll uh, actually play this fucking game. Yeah. Okay. You have to push it. I know. I'm going to. I've got to reset the timer.